It has been over a month since these four University of Idaho students were brutally murdered in their beds. The killer has not been found. There are no witnesses, no murder weapon and no suspect. Nobody even reported hearing screams. The killings have deeply shaken their small college town of Moscow and sparked interest on a global scale. Police have been tight-lipped, but they have said that these were targeted attacks. But one of the many unknowns is why this house and these students would be targeted, and by who. This has caused people, including the students which make up a large proportion of the town, to come together to try and work out what happened here. People are speculating and trawling through the students' social media accounts and studying the police reports to try and find out who the killer or killers could be. The police are studying hundreds of pieces of evidence and thousands of tips that have been coming from the community. This is what we know so far. Three girls and one boy were killed on the 13th of November. The three girls, Madison, Kaylee and Zanna, lived together in a six-bed house and Ethan, Zanna's boyfriend, was staying with her that night. The four of them had gone out for the evening, the girls to a bar in town and the couple to a party less than a five-minute walk from Zanna's. All four of them were back in the house by 2am. They were dead by the time police arrived at the scene. Police found two on the first floor of the house and two on the second. It's thought that they were sleeping when they were attacked and killed using a large knife in the early hours of Sunday morning. There's no evidence that any of the victims had been sexually assaulted. Two other girls who lived in the house were in bedrooms on the ground floor. They say they slept through the attacks. Although the police haven't shared much information about their investigation, they have ruled out some speculations made by members of the public. The police have had to rule out some of the names circulating on social media as possible killers. These include two roommates who survived that night, an ex-boyfriend of one of the victims who received several calls from Kaylee and Madison that same evening, the person who drove the girls home from town, and this hooded man who was stood outside the food van at the end of the night with them. The community is on edge. A lot of students haven't gone back to campus after the Thanksgiving break. There hasn't been a murder in the town for more than seven years. It's a vicious crime that is baffling the world and looks no closer to finding answers, particularly for the bereaved family of those brutally murdered. <laughs> Thank you.